I think people should appreciate the honesty. <laughs> yeah, but they right? <laughs> We're in America. I'm from Florida. Oh. That's why I grew up barefoot. I used to go outside barefoot. Well, these don't look like gator feet, so that's pretty good. I always thought this was the dumpster cream that I see you put on. That's what it looks no. So this is that antibacterial white or oh. iodine. So iodine. Iodine. How long have you been in Canada? Since 96. So not even mature. Chrome, you have to use iodine. Iodine. Do you know what mercure chrome is? No. That's the same thing as iodine, but it doesn't sting. So the new, like, this is truly povo iodine. It, it doesn't have the same kick like yeah. the old stuff. Right, when you're a kid and you cut yourself, your mom gave you iodine. Yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah, th this is not pure iodine. And it's like a mixture, you're right. It doesn't have the same kick. If you had a nice mom, then she would get the mercure chrome. But mm -hmm. your mom's like, well, you shouldn't have been out there doing that. But then again, your mom, with her size five feet, was <laughs> She, she made you know she had big feet. Yeah. <laughs> how old was the, how old were you when the doctor said that? I was so born. Right when you are born? Right when I was born. He said you <laughs> What did the doctor say? Just so the camera can hear because it's so funny. When I was born, the doctor said nobody would marry me because I had big feet. I don't even know how you can know that you have a big foot as a baby. Like really like. Yeah, no idea. <sighs> but it's okay because my mom said after he delivered me, he went into a mental hospital. He had a mental breakdown or something. <laughs> See, look at, look at the Vaseline. It kind of protected the toe. The, the brown liquid didn't get in there so good. So you relax the foot. You sit back. You oh, sit back. Sorry. Yeah, I want to look at it. Well, <laughs> yeah, I guess you can't see from there. So okay. is that bad that I put Vaseline on it? No, there's nothing wrong. You relax the foot. Oh, sorry. That's okay. We got to get a good view for this. You, the foot's the star. So big thing. You have this crazy pincered nail. And you also have nail damage. So the nail's not attaching. We're gonna do the double whammy today. Uh, not only are we removing those bad curled sides, but we are going to remove the rest of the nail, but not apply the acid, let it grow back, and see if we can get it to reconnect. <clears throat> so you won't apply the acid to the sides. No, I am applying it to the sides. Oh, to the side, but you won't apply it to the rest of the nail because you want the nail to grow back. We want you to have a nail. Okay, got it. And we want everyone to know who's watching how nice your other nails look. <laughs> it's very important that everybody knows that we have someone who really loves taking care of her feet. <laughs> I would not too good, so I would have this problem. But see, this nail sometimes is nothing that you did wrong. Trauma. You, with, like the doctor said, with your big feet. So he says, <laughs> that makes a lot of pressure on the big toes and that's what causes the nail to grow abnormal. So it's not we abnormal for this app. We're gonna do our second check here. Anything sharp? No, I can't look at it. Anything down here? No. Here? No, 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 no. Okay. So. I feel pressure. Pressure. Yeah, under pressure. Under pressure. Exactly. That, you're thinking that? That's, yes, that's every, why I said it. That's what I think about every time I, I hear that. <laughs> Just pressure. Under pressure. Okay, let's remove the corners. So we are going to get rid of this widened nail side. And we got both feet that look at the exact same. But we're going to film this one because this is the, the, the worst one. And so how has it been getting pedicures? Very painful? No, actually when I get pedicures, my nails feel better after that, but just for a short while. So again, we talked about ingrowns. There's only two types of treatment. Option one, conservative treatment, and that's just trimming down the corners. Now what's crazy, I made a small little cut. We can see how wide the nail is underneath. Wow, I can't move forward, sorry. That's wow. okay, thank you. Um, we do the same thing on the other side. So we're gonna apply acid on these bad widened corners. Ooh, another nice wide piece. Now the acid is gonna stop the nail from growing, but it's not gonna hurt my skin, right? It is damage. It's technically causing a chemical burn. And that's what's damaging the nail cells and stopping them from ever growing back. So we're gonna apply it on the corners and then we're gonna neutralize it very well with rubbing alcohol. So there's no more further reaction. The acid is all kind of gone from the area. Then we're gonna remove the middle nail 
and let that grow back. So I'm getting all that dead skin that your nail technician has been telling you about. And that has been building up because there's so much pressure between the nail and the skin folds. And so it's literally like a callus. So I'm getting that all out. And what's gonna happen? That's gonna allow the toe to heal in a much flatter, smoother. It won't have this groove. If we don't root, rip out all that dead skin, we don't get that nice smooth healing after. So the ingrowns are out. We're gonna make sure the cut is nice and straight. We're gonna apply the acid just in those corners. So getting any dead skin that's in here out. Is there more in there? I know you felt that pull, but sometimes that's just the skin underneath. The cut looks good. I didn't feel anything. I've been looking at you doing oh. it. No, that's all good. There's no more nail left on it. I'll probably feel when you pour the alcohol on it. You, you'll feel maybe wetness, the part that's not numb, but really you won't feel it. You won't feel anything. Because you know, alcohol burns on an open cut. Yeah, but you're numb, so you won't feel it now. You won't feel anything now until the freezing wears off, six to 10 hours, then that's when the fun begins. Okay, relax your foot. <laughs> Sorry. That's okay. So this is what's damaging those corners. So what we're gonna hope, clean up this nail bed remove after remove this nail clean up the nail bed we're going to start completely fresh and see if we get a fully connected toenail i told you probably around 80 percent of the time it doesn't work but you want to give it a go and there's nothing wrong you're doing an awesome job afterwards already changing your work plans to reduce the amount of pressure for the next week and then we just watch the toe heal up so for you you're gonna you're gonna get a special extra videos we're gonna see you in two months and then in six months from now so we can see how well everything has grown back. Now, if you're able to, if you can do any self-documentation, filming, pictures every week, whatever, it would be cool to see how all this heals up over the next couple months. If you wanna help me out. And you can always still keep showing off how nice all your other tools were. Look for the next, how, how well, 24 seven you keep them. So how long before I can get a pedicure? And if I get a pedicure, I can't do my big toe. I can only do the little toes. Yeah, you better get a two nail discount because they're only be <laughs> um, Usually after I'd say three to four weeks when there's a scab on the toe, then you're safe to get to soak the foot, all that stuff. Yeah, because they soak it, yeah, they put yeah. lotion. So usually it's three to four weeks. Okay. So you're gonna have to survive with some no pedicure three to four weeks. I don't know. We, we got to tell the camera, you really take care of the toes. Everyone needs to know you are the woman to take care of her toes. <laughs> if only I could show off the hands too. Look at the nails. They're looking good. I for St. Patty's Day. I, I noticed that with the green. <laughs> is that Monday? Uh, St. Patty's Day is um, Friday, the 17th. It is, is it always the 17th? It's 17th, 18th. Oh, you're ready to go. I'm ready. So again, this is that acid. This is what's stopping those corners. I'm gonna do one more round. And then off goes the whole nail. Oh God. You're not feeling anything? No. Relax the foot. I'm oh, sorry. That's okay, that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> You Americans always uptight. <laughs> now, how has it been living in Canada as an American? I love, I'm Canadian now too. I love Canada. Yeah? Yeah. That's good. Home of the free. <laughs> For sure, better than America. Oh, don't say that. You're gonna get all the American toes upset. Upset, yes. Sorry. So this is the rubbing alcohol. You feel the burn? Oh, yes, it's burning. <laughs> Okay, no burn, which is good. Now we remove the rest of the nail. So. Oh, I cannot look at this. Okay, me either. <laughs> what you have to look. So the top half is already so damaged. Again, it's not really connecting. And we're gonna take this part off. That's the top half. And see, this is this abnormal I skin. Can't look. So <laughs> I I'm gonna show it for the camera. So this is this abnormal skin. 
that's almost sometimes not allowing the nail to reconnect. This is not nail, this is skin. Wow. Um, it's very translucent. So this is what we actually end up clean, cleaning off, this. And we have a new fresh nail bed. And sometimes that's what's stopping the nail from reconnecting. But the bottom part, you have to take that off too? Like even though that's the healthy part? Yes. Just start fresh. Alright, let's just 2023 start fresh. New nail, new you. <laughs> yeah. So big thing again, just because it, it this was actually not nail. This is the skin. All here. And it it's like a scar that yeah. it doesn't allow the nail to reconnect. So we start fresh completely, like you said, 2023, the year of new you, new nail. You took the bottom part off already? We did. Wow. Yep. So there's no toenail on there. There's no toenail it. whatsoever. It's all gone. It looks like I have a red toenail polish. And so that's a great, that's a great note. So basically, what happens a lot, there was no blood here before, but we pulled off that skin and so that's why we have a fresh wound now. Oh. So we're starting literally fresh. So this is how you're going to take care of it. You're going to put antibiotic cream. Okay. Because you have no toenail, you're going to have to add a little bit more so nothing gets stuck to the nail bed. And that's why you're going to be changing it morning and night. Very important. If you leave this on two, three days without changing it, the gauze will get stuck. Yeah, yeah, I don't want that. So you put on the cream, mm -hmm. put on some gauze, put on some wrap, morning and night. And that's it. So before I go to bed and when I wake up? Yes. Now if you want to shower, you definitely can shower. You're just gonna shower with the toe covered like this. Okay. Then you're gonna put a new dressing on after the shower. Okay. Okay? So put on at nighttime, when I wake up, take a shower, and then put it on after the shower. Yep. If this bleeds through today, it is normal. We just have to change it sooner, but your first dressing will, can be later tonight. Okay. Okay? So we took out the corners. Let's, let's just make this it's like a little puzzle. Here, let's put all these pieces out here. I can lean forward now. You can lean forward. So we have three pieces to this puzzle. Wow. My favorite type of puzzle. So we got the middle, that's your nail here. We got this side on over here and this side over here. So look how much wider the nail is. It's supposed so the to white be, part, that's how wide. That wide. That's how wide your nail actually is. But it was supposed to be this wide. Well, now it's going to be this wide. I mean, that's what it normally is supposed to be. So for some, most people. Yeah. But the other problem was the amount of curvature. Yeah, that's awful. So again, this was all the weird kind of scar tissue skin that was not allowing the nail to reconnect. You can see it's, it's I'm trying to even pull it off. It's so tight. Oh, that was underneath the nail. Okay. That's underneath. And so we pull that all off, we start completely fresh. Yay.